Southwest Airlines Flight 1248 departed Baltimore on the first leg of a scheduled three-day trip. The flight was delayed for approximately two hours due to deteriorating weather in Chicago, which was the first destination. While en route, the flight crew received information that runway 31 would be the active runway, and that braking action reports were mixed, with good or fair braking action for the first half of the runway and poor braking action for the last half. Prior to landing, the reported wind conditions, 090 degrees at 11 knots, resulted in a tailwind component of 8 knots. The flight crew entered a number of braking action scenarios into the operational performance computer and eventually decided that a landing could be successfully accomplished. Upon receiving a landing clearance, the first officer was informed that the wind had decreased to 9 knots from the previous 11 and braking action was reported as good for the first half of the runway and poor for the second half. The airplane touched down in the designated touchdown zone, the ground spoilers deployed, and within one second of touchdown, the automatic braking system began to operate. The flight crew wasn't satisfied with the deceleration provided by the automatic brakes and overrode the automatic system by applying manual brakes. According to the flight data recorder, no attempt to deploy the thrust reversers was made during this time period. Approximately 15 seconds after touchdown, thrust reverse was initiated, with full deployment occurring about 18 seconds after touchdown and approximately 500 feet from the runway overrun. Deceleration was not adequate, and the airplane ran off the end of the runway, through the runway safety area, a blast fence, and a navigational aid antenna. The airplane then crossed an airport road, went through an airport perimeter fence, and onto a public roadway. Upon entering the public roadway, the airplane struck an automobile before coming to rest near an intersection at the northwest corner of the airport.